certain items just never made it to the full game. And with the help of Peacock and plugins, you're able to access some of those. For example, the sniper case, which serves the same purpose as other briefcases, but it just looks more realistic for carrying sniper rifles. Or this rather fancy looking explosive that is basically a reskin of the explosive gold ball. Features like these get cut because the developers feel like they aren't benefiting the game enough. And some items would just break the game. Three in particular caught my attention when I looked for the modified inventory. The first one is actually not even that broken, and that is the proximity sedative device. It's basically a slightly worse version of the snail, because unlike the snail, people can compromise you if they spot you using it, assuming you're not in a gas disguise. So you need to use it the same way you would use the remote semantic device. You can drop it, and as long as all witnesses get affected, you'll keep sign assessing. Or you could place it on the ground. Who the hell is that? And it can be put in a briefcase, but it will get triggered after a few seconds. So overall, not too overpowered considering the snail can do the same without the danger of getting compromised. But what if the device wasn't sedative but lethal? IY was indeed working on a lethal device, both in proximity and remote form. And your first thought is probably a lethal briefcase. I don't think I have to explain why this would break the game entirely. And if you thought the lethal device would be the most overpowered item, let me introduce you to the Molotov cocktail. You'd think throwing a burning bottle would raise some suspicion, but not in this universe. It can be thrown or dropped at any target and you'll never lose sight assassin. Now, it would be fair to mention that most of the cut items are not working as intended because they weren't fully developed. I think that's most true for the Molotov cocktail. But regardless, I always find it fascinating to discover ideas that never left the planning board, and I hope you enjoyed the small tour behind the scenes. Both targets are down. Great work.